Our living room has changed a little bit since Tickle's surgery, since before her surgery. I have an old chair that I'm sitting in at the moment and a laptop stand. And then the couch is gone. I have a single bed on the floor and Tickle's bed is on top of the single bed at the moment. The cushions from the couch are resting up against the wall like a back rest. Because <laughs> we spend time on the floor with her doing her massage and range of motion. And right now she's having a little snooze after having her breakfast. So that... <laughs> Got a view of the TV, and Dennis sits over there. <laughs> so baby gates are up. She's confined to this room because it has carpeting, and none of the rest of the house does. Some dogs spend most of their recovery in a crate, and I'm very, very happy that our veterinarian told us not to crate her. And he also said that if I was right beside her, and keeping an eye on her that uh, I could take the cone off now and then. Tickles is having another break from wearing the cone. She wears it all night long because you can't watch a dog when you're sound asleep. So she wears the cone all night long. And for the first I would say six or seven days after her surgery, she pretty much wore the cone 95% of the time. I did take it off when she was eating, but stood right by her side to make sure she wasn't even looking at her stitches. Um, and now she's getting longer breaks without the cone, but I stay right by her side. I am within grabbing distance if she even looks at the stitches. But she's not. She's not. She's completely ignoring the sight of the incision, which is fantastic. And it's looking really good. So she just needs a little break now and then from the collar. But you have to be prepared to watch them at all times. Did you just drop your toy on my feet? Yes. <laughs> anyway, she has been a very, very, very good girl and there's not too much to video that's new. I have been starting the moist heat therapy this week, which is new and she doesn't mind it at all, but you do it after she's been out, had her walk, and she's ready to lay down again. Right now she's in play mode, so would not be a good time. Yes. Yes, <laughs> what mama doing to you? What am I doing to you? <laughs> I know, it's boring, isn't it? It's boring. Yeah, pretty girl. Yes, you are. So pretty, pretty, pretty. I wanted to demonstrate how difficult it is for me to get up when I'm on the floor. Oh my goodness, it's a big production because my knees just don't work. I have to kind of hoist myself onto one arm. Yes. <laughs> it's hard. Baby girl is getting one of her heat therapy treatments underneath her blanket. I have a damp cloth and a hot pack. One of those ones you heat up in the microwave that are filled with rice or wheat or I don't know what they're filled with <gasps> but it's warming up her joints she doesn't seem to mind 